Six weeks ago, we infiltrated a scam call center. We hacked their system and are monitoring them so that we can hear and see everything that they do. You know, the hacker could be anybody, so the hacker should not know that you're talking with the bank and everything, right? Wow, she just said if the hacker knows that you're talking to us, then they could wipe out your entire account because they're listening. Yes, we are listening. Here at the office, we want to stop as many scams in progress while at the same time staying stealthy. Come on, they're blocking her again. Hello? Hello. Those are scammers. You're, you have scammers on your computer right now. That is not Norton. Let's what have I done? Man, it's really stressful saving these people because you save one person and then another person's calling in and they're automatically on the hook right away. Just to be clear, like, don't say you spoke to somebody like me because then you blow my oh, cover, okay? Because they're scamming someone else right now while I'm talking to you on the phone. They're, this is, they do this all day long. Yep, and some of those people can be disabled or they're using a walker and they're asking them to walk miles to the nearest store just so they can scam them out of money. You're nine miles away from a store, you do not drive. Uh, Ma'am, do you walk? Do you walk with a walker or can you walk by yourself? You do use a walker to walk, right? Look guys, I've been monitoring these scammers for a number of weeks and it's really frustrating hearing how they talk to people. So I do want to apologize ahead of time, but I am going to be lashing out at these scammers pretty aggressively. I just want to say it gets really heated. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to break down this scam because I think it's important for you to know how these guys are scamming people. Then I'm going to show you the inside of the scam call center, including its exact location. And finally, we're going to set a little trap for these scammers. They're going to connect to my computer and they're going to see this, a full folder of all the evidence of their scam call center. So guys, this is what happens. Let's say you're surfing the web and you're trying to look for recipes. You go to a web page, or at least you think is a web page that's gonna be safe, but scammers have actually either paid for ads um, for certain search terms, or they'll pay for ads that are kind of pop-ups for a web page itself. And you go to that page thinking you're getting a recipe or you're going to your bank and all of a sudden something pops up on your screen. It's saying you have viruses all over your computer, your Facebook's hacked, your bank is hacked, all your passwords are gone, and you need to call Microsoft as soon as possible or your computer's going to be fried. You might think it's Microsoft, that 800 number, but it's really not. This is going to connect you with a scam call center that we're about to show you. Thank you for calling Microsoft. How can I help you? From here, the scammers will then play technical support. They'll ask you a bunch of questions, kind of what led up to this point, and then they'll have you download a remote access tool. All right. Now, it seems like uh, there has been a breach on your device. It's an attempt of hacking which has taken place within the past 48 hours. That will look like something like AnyDesk or TeamViewer. And then sometimes they'll even use vanity URLs like microsoftfile.ml. All right, I want you to uh, press the windows and the key R at the same time. And you will see a small box by the name of run with a open search bar on the box. On the open search bar, I want you to type down www.microsoftfile.ml. And then that will go directly to a file like UltraViewer right here. Once the scammer is successfully connected to the victim's computer, they will run a scan. And this is really just command line prompt, running things like tree, and then they'll copy and paste a message like, hey, you have an unauthorized transaction. Now, typically, most people know that you can't run a scan on your bank account from your desktop or your laptop using command line, but a lot of the elderly don't necessarily understand all the technical aspects of what's going on in the computer, and they might get confused. So this is perfect for the scammers. They're going to probe for information, write this information down, and then give it to their other scam buddies who are going to pretend to be the bank. Okay, I want you to stay on the line for a quick moment, all right? Debit card, yeah, na, yeah, check. I think this is for check. Wait, hold check, on. Yeah. Banking, wait, wait, hold on. Huh? Yes, hello, ma'am. 
what is the uh, credit card bank that you're banking with? The credit card company? Uh, Total Visa? Okay, and what about the uh, debit card? Direct Express, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Direct Express. Oh, yeah, Total Visa. But I need Total Visa belly bus, you know. Yeah, debit card. Ah, debit card. Yeah, Direct Express. Huh? नहीं नहीं. Thank you for calling Direct Express. This side of Ellie. How can I help you today? I'm sure you guys can see where this is going, but it gets very confusing. So stay with me here. The bank scammer will ask for like your zip code to look up information on your area. Can I get your name first of all? All right. What is your zip code? They're always trying to fish for information on how they can get the money out the fastest. So whether that's going to your bank and getting money out, or going to a CVS and getting gift cards, or even a gas station and putting money into a crypto ATM that sends to a wallet, whatever they need to do to get that money out as quickly as possible, they'll do it. The bank scammer will tell you that the only way to cancel out the hacker's charge is to do a duplicate charge. I know that sounds really, really weird, but it works for these guys. It's a part of their script, and I've seen it be really successful for them. A duplicate charge is something wherein the charge has been made for the same product at the same price uh, to the same merchant and at the same time, okay? So let's suppose if you have purchased a t-shirt from Amazon for $10 and sometimes you get charged twice for that t-shirt from your bank. And when the bank charges you twice for that t-shirt, they have the authority to contact you on your registered phone number and ask you whether you wish to go ahead with uh, both of the charges, whether you wish to go ahead with a single charge, whether you wish to go ahead with none of the charge, okay? So now in your case, there is already a charge made on your account, which is for $13,100, right? Now we would need to create an, in, an encrypted duplicate charge on your account. So the scammers will have you get the money out from your bank account and then go buy gift cards or put money into a crypto ATM and send it to a wallet. Whatever is the fastest one based off of what they've found. Now the question arises where you're going to make a charge. Obviously, you're not going to that illegal pornographic website to make a charge. So what you all you need to do is that you need to go ahead and you need to convert your amount $13,100 into uh, security cards or uh, security cards or security codes. And there's the another option which is a digital form of money that is more secure medium of exchange. So you will be investing your funds into your cryptocurrency investment wallet. First, you will be going down to your branch. You need to withdraw the money out from your branch. Then I will be letting you know where this cryptocurrency investment machine will be. You have to go down to that machine, put your information there, scan your wallet over there and put your money into that wallet and you have to keep it safely with you. Guys, I want to let you know, if you get that money out of your account, buy gift cards or send the money through a Bitcoin ATM, you've been scammed. The Money's gone. Now on to the good part, the scam call center information. So this scam call center actually brings us to the outskirts of New Delhi. A little bit closer, we look at the area is called Gitorni. And it's really interesting because they're on 100 feet road and it's not that same 100 feet road from when we exposed the Hyderabad call center. This is a different one. And they're running in an area called Desk Connect, which is a co-working space that anyone can go rent space in and use. This allows them to really just set up shop for like 6,000 Indian rupees per person and kind of stay under the radar so nobody knows where they really are and they can do their illegal activities and be out of there. They think that they can't be caught and they can't be tracked and located, but we found them. So here's the last part. You all remember when I was apologizing, right? Well, we lost connection to the scam call center. So we decided to put all the information that we had together and see how the scammer would respond. So we created a desktop background that points to a folder that has all the evidence that we got from the scammers, including photos, videos, evidence of them scamming people, and even their location. When the scammers open the folder, they will be able to see all the evidence inside. And I even added a little piece of advice to try and help them out.
I wanna give a huge shout out to NordVPN for partnering with us on this video. Guys, I've been using Nord for well over three years on my scam bait journey, and I absolutely love what they do. First off, it's super easy to use. It's literally one click of a button and you're connected and protected. Or in my case, when I do a scam bait, I can click on a certain city or state and the scammers think that I'm from there. They've got over 5,500 servers across 60 different countries. So if I wanted to watch a Netflix movie from India, I just simply click that I'm from India and boom, we're good to go. The VPN servers are so lightning quick that half the time I don't even remember that I'm on a VPN, which is really cool because you get that performance, that experience, as well as the protection of a VPN. I protect all my devices on my network, whether it's my desktop or even my phone. NordVPN is cross-platform, which makes it really, really great to expand across your network. So go to nordvpn.com slash pierogi for an incredible discount. And you can check it out, guys, for 30 days. It's risk-free. So go check it out. Thank you so much. And let's get back to the video. I also add in personal information about the scammers that nobody else would know. This creates a certain level of stress and anxiety for the scammers, and it really scares them because they're like, well, how is somebody listening to what I'm saying? There's a scammer that's studying engineering. <laughs> There's a scammer that's complaining that he's not getting attention from a certain girl in the call center. And then the two scammers will even just sit there and talk about how they don't need any ladies and that all they worry about is money. Okay, everyone, so we are here live with a scammer and we've put all the evidence that we've collected right here in this red circle. What is this in the middle? What are you talking about? Let's this thing in the thing. middle. What does this say? This thing, this? This folder in the middle that you guys just put here. I haven't put anything on your computer, miss. Well, let's open it up. What does it say? Your location? Your office? What is that? Your co-workers? Will you click on it? Miss, how can I click? Fine, I'll click it for you. It says you are here. It says you're right yeah. here. Whose computer is this? Anything, sir. You're taking Who's bank screenshots this? of people? Tell me, tell me. Wait, that location, that I know that location. That's that shared that so shared space in New Delhi. Okay, that's hundred feet sorry? road in New Delhi, isn't it? The co-working space? Okay, so where it is? Yeah, you're that's what I'm saying. That's that's what I'm saying. It's saying that's where your work is. Right here, you're in this building right here, right? That's you. Which building? This building right here. The one with the red arrow on it. Sir. Who are these guys? That's a blank screen. It's not a blank screen. Who are these? Who's that guy with the square around him? On the phone. I don't know who this. Who's that guy right there? No, I don't know. And who's that girl? Is that is that is that the same girl that's that is the bank manager? I don't know anything about that, sir. Yeah, that's where you're working out of right now. Is that you? Is no, that you right there? No, sir. It's not me. One of those is you. Is that you drinking? Is that, is that you right there? No. No, I'm in Washington, D.C., sir. No, you're in not. Redmond, you're at, you're, no, this is exactly where you are. We are in the Redmond, Washington. No, you're not in Redmond, Washington. You're in 100 yes, feet sir. road at Gittorney, New Delhi. I haven't been to India. Where that's where you're it? sitting at right now. That's your office, right? That's where you're sitting. What are these things? With, the, with the fans on the wall, that's where you're sitting at right now. It actually no, sounds sir, like you right. have one of the fans on. Literally, the past few days, you guys were talking about, like, who's going to become the new team leader? And someone was, like, upset because someone was talking to one of the girls. How come Aunt sits next to uh, the girl? She never sits next to me. I'm not, I'm not, I don't worry about girls because I'm 24 years old. I'm worried about... Uh, my, I'm focusing on my studies because girls cost a lot of money. I don't know about that. Where is Ansh there? He's studying computer engineering right now. 
Anj. No, sir. Yes. We have IT department and his yeah. name is John. No, it's not John. It's Anj. Rajiv is the manager. Is Rajiv there? Can I speak with him? I know that you're there. Mute Kana Bancado. What? You're going on my camera now. Why would you go on my camera? Kana Bancado. Mujhe sapate hai. What are you talking about? I know everything. Stop being scared. I know everything. All of the evidence has been collected over a long period of time. I have all of it. It's already been sent. I have all of your scams. I have all of your scams. I have all of your ultra viewer files. I have all your ultra viewer files where it's linked to people you've stolen from. It's already been sent to the feds. You better tell Rajiv, you better get his ass on the phone right now and talk to me. I don't know who you are talking about. Yeah, I, yeah you do know. know you do know. That's why you got off the computer. Yes, if you want to do anything, just do it. Why are you telling me? I've this? already been doing it. You don't think that y'all's scams have been messed up for a reason? You must be joking, sir. I'm not joking. I'm no Harame. That's you are. No, I'm not. I'm no Harame. We will be watching. You understand me? Tell Rajiv yes, we're going to be watching. Thank you for calling support. This is James. How may I help you? Hi, James. Um, I was on with Alex Jones. He had me going to download a program, TeamView. We will okay. be making an ID and password for you so that your system can be connected easily with the Microsoft security server. Okay. I'm just afraid that uh, somebody's hacked me. Okay. Well, uh, you don't need to worry about anything, sir. Right now. Now, sir, what do you see on your screen? It says something about you guys are trying to open somebody's camera on their on their computer. No, sir. I uh, no. What I just want to let you, you guys know that I, I hacked you guys and I've been you watching you guys. Yeah, I could hear everyone in the background talking about okay. it. I want you to let Rajiv know that it was me. It was not somebody at your office. It was me. So what is your name? Randy Lauda. Randy Laura. Yes. I just want to know. So, um, are you the one? Who, are you the one who? Yes, I am the one who's hacked you. Not someone at your call center. It was me. Oh, this you is are exactly the one where you guys are, in NCR New Delhi, 100 feet road, NCR New Delhi. Okay, is that Troopty in the background? Yes. Is that Troopty talking? She's the banker. Oh, Shruti? Troopty. Troopty the banker. She's. No, this no, no, is. No. She yeah. is not working with us. Yeah, this is Troopty right here. Yeah, Shrupti Aurora is her name. Shrupti. Uh, and sir, you guys I are don't know. You, you guys are pretending. You guys are no. You guys are pretending. Look, this is this is your evidence right here. You guys have been trying to steal from people, and I've been stopping it myself. I've hacked you. You guys are going to be exposed really soon. You can go tell Rajiv or whoever you need to. Anch, yes. Rajiv, Shrupti, whoever. We're pissed off what you guys are doing. Stop doing this. You have anything to say? No, sir. You are almost right, sir. You are I'm right. not almost right. I'm 100% right. Whatever you're telling me. I have yes, all the evidence. I have all the right. screenshots. I have all of your screenshots from Ultra Viewer. I have over 100 screenshots from Ultra Viewer. You guys are sitting there sir, yammering no. in the background. Sir. Oh, sir. it was somebody. I heard you guys saying it. You think it's somebody at your call center? It's me. Sir, there are many people who is working for the Microsoft. You I'm don't the work only for the person who is working for the Microsoft. You don't work there for Microsoft. Many, there are many working for the Microsoft. You don't work for Microsoft. Okay. You work for so Rajiv. You have any Why are you so afraid right now? You guys are that afraid to talk to me? I'd say that's a pretty good result. You can deny all you want, but you guys are scamming people. We know the exact location. And you guys literally want to sit there and say, you have almost everything right. What do you mean we have almost everything right? We literally have everything right. And they're hitting your grandma, your grandpa, your next door neighbor. You know, the person at your church, they're hitting all these people and they're getting them to use their walker to try to walk to a CVS to get gift cards. Or they're trying to uh, do a Zelle transfer for $5,000. Or they're trying to get elderly to make Bitcoin accounts. People are losing their lives because they're losing everything. It's sad. It's sickening. It's ridiculous. So hopefully these guys will get in trouble. That's what our hopes are. We're not the police. I'm, I'm a YouTuber. We've got a group of folks here at our office trying to help people every day. When I'm not there, we have someone else listening and watching, hoping to find some nugget of information that we could go save somebody. And it's on to the next one. All right, guys, one last thing I want to say. We have some new merch that's here. We've got a new hoodie, a new t-shirt, and a new hat that has the brand new Scammer Payback logo and font on it. It is so sick. 
scammerpaybackstore.com. It's up for pre-order, so you can be one of the first to get your hands on it. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't get scammed.